y'all welcome to the truth show in this video i will be talking about ellen degeneres uh oh it seems that ellen is caught up in a lottery scam the lottery is supposed to supplement funding to california public schools but instead was given to the ellen degeneres show for promotional purposes oh boy let's talk here we go again i mean this is the truth show and there's more oh i'm not done yet oh and there's more oh i'm not done yet I mean, this is a truth show. Oh, yes. As we all should know, next to Oprah and Free, The View, The Wendy Williams Show on holidays, Ella DeGeneres is one of the most giving co hosts. But have any of you ever wondered where does all those prizes and so on come from? Oh, and no, to mention, how are the publishing clearinghouse winners picked? I will get into that a little later, but first let's talk about this latest lottery scandal with Ellen. Okay, it seems that during the December broadcast, Ellen announced each audience member would receive a 500 bundle of Golden State scratch-off tickets, more than 30,000 scratchers cards with the face value of $212,000 were legally given to the chat fest for promotional purposes according to the lottery spokesman russ lopez who is the deputy director of the communications department there but some people think the gamble by starstruck lottery officials was a felt bet because the giveaway means less money from sales went to the state's coffers for educating kids which is where it's supposed to initially go and of course a tax write-off let's not forget that however this concerns me because bottom line the mission of the california lottery is to provide supplemental funding to california public schools but giving away free tickets on a tv show is not beneficial to our kids right the lottery was created to fund schools period but as you know most schools barely see these doggone funds oh i'm not done yet because not every bundle went to in-studio audience members Critics charge. Mm -hmm. They did. Furthermore, comedian Colleen Ballinger, may have mispronounced her last name, bragged in an online video she'd been given one of the ticket packages from a pal affiliated with the syndicated daytime show and even showed off the pile of scratch off cards. Oh, and there's more. Because it seems that whistleblowers have since filed a complaint with the state auditor. Governor Gavin Newsom and Ellen is feeling stung by the blowback. Oh, yes. Ellen has been rattled badly by this because she never wants to be seeing this hurting kids in any way. You all know Ellen loves kids. I mean, regardless of what I've heard and said about her questionable marriage, she would never intentionally do this to kids. She was set up and used, I believe, not to mention this will be terrible publicity for her and the show. However, this isn't the first gripe about state lottery operations. Last year, Senator Chang demanded an audit after the agency was accused of wasteful spending and proper gifts and nepotism. But Lopez insists that Ellen Stunt was a smart investment because consultants estimated the total media value in California from the segment was about $1.6 million. Oh, yes, because the Ellen Show offered a consumer awareness of California lottery's contributions to public education while helping to drive sales. This is what Lopez says. Now, remember, this is what they agreed to. The results of this remains to be seen because, as we all know, the promotional opportunity allowed the lottery to achieve significant cost savings compared to buying the equivalent in media exposure via a traditional ad buy. You see, every dollar wasted at the lottery for their public promotions is a dollar that won't go to the classrooms and this behavior has to stop. Which brings me to the publishing clearinghouse. Ha, I hope you're ready for this. Oh, I've done a video about this already on Keisha's Gossips and Truths a while ago. And in this video, I talk about the inner workings of Publishing Clearinghouse. I get really deep. Well, you know what? Let's just take a look at this very old video. Okay. You go to the PCS page and you enter. And you have to enter every day. But here's the catch. Millions of people enter every day, so it will be so hard to win. But guess what? There's a process to the madness. This is also what they say. It seems that Publishing Clearinghouse does not know the winning number until giveaway ends. Throughout the life of sweepstakes, Publishing Clearinghouse assigns super prize numbers to outgoing bulletins 
and one of the numbers assigned to you while the giveaway is going on could be the winning number. Random drawings, a two-step process is used for random drawings. Incoming entries are pre-qualified either manually by specifically trained contest judges using raffle cages or electronically using a computer. Then on drawing day, all qualified entries are subsequently numbered and a bingo cage is used to randomly pick the winner with no one having any determined way of knowing in advance of who the winners may be or where they may come from. Mm -hmm. Got a question about Publishers Clearinghouse? Howie's got the answer. Hi, welcome to Howie Helps. I'm Howie from Publishers Clearinghouse and I'm here to help answer your questions. Let's take a look at what you want to know. How are winners selected? Everyone always asks if there's a trick to winning the Publishers Clearinghouse sweepstakes, but it really is the luck of the draw. Winners are selected randomly by giveaway supervisors and overseen by the PCH Board of Judges. We have no idea in advance who the winners are. It's just as much of a surprise for us as it is for you. Now that video went by quick, huh? But the key points, they may have been overlooked. First of all, he said something after computer selected subtitle. He said that it's selected by supervisors and overseen by the PCH Board of Judges meaning that the only thing that's computerized is how the entries are taken. Everything else is selected by people. Those entries are carefully selected and then placed in the alleged birdcage. Oh, and do believe they don't just select anyone. They do a background check and they check the surrounding areas to make sure that their team is going to be safe. Oh, and if you owe them money, then your entry is nothing more than money in their pockets. You will never win. Most of, if not all, people who have won the um, publishing clearinghouse are homeowners, or their record is clean and they have a good credit or somewhat good credit. Why do you think that we haven't heard any stories about killers or rapists or anyone of the kind ever winning? Because they check you out. Stay <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I remember that hairstyle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, that's when my computer was smack dead in the middle of our um, living room and dining room. No, was that the dining room? I think it was a dining room in our old house. Oh my gosh, it was a mess back a long time ago. Oh my gosh, that was a long, 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 long time ago. Sorry. <laughs> that was my first time watching it in a very long time. So as you see, Publishing Clearing the House is nothing but a money-making gimmick like many lotteries. They use the low-income areas to build up their revenue and award the areas that are upper middle class and so on up less crime and so on so do understand that they are not trying to give it to anyone in the midwest area depending on the area so please think about this the next time you play anything hardly any money goes to schools or anything of the kind but hey maybe you can be that one in a million you know you never know good luck to all of you and let me know your thoughts below and don't forget to subscribe share 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 stop for just one second i want you all to know that it doesn't stop here i have a lot of neat things going on did you all know i have three other channels one being my sister's channel oh yes i have the truth show as you all should know keisha's gossip and truth the truth show deluxe and my sister's top t and five or six and that's not all you can visit my website at thetruthshow.co this website gives you inside information and more or become a patron for only two dollars or sign up for my youtube membership for a dollar more and get access to that and more oh i'm I'm not done yet. I have a blog so you can read all of my latest and popular scripts in detail. Oh, I'm still not done yet. If you like my videos and you want me to make you one, whatever it may be, well, visit Freezing Moments in Time website and submit your request and we can talk, honey. Everything is below. And like, now, let's get Love you all. Bye. Yeah, uh, yeah.